Hi, I'm dating expert Hayley Quinn and it is my super pleasure and delight to bring you a new interview series that I'm doing and this one is on mindset hacks. So if you're listening to this and you often have problems with self-expression, with connection, with limiting beliefs, with fears that basically hold you back from taking the action that you want in your life, then I would advise you to stay tuned. It is my delight and pleasure to be joined by an extremely wise coach who I have the privilege of working with on some of my training courses. He's also basically a dear friend and someone I would 100% ring up if I need advice, which does happen. <laughs> um, it's Mr. Ashley Lloyd Shaw. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What would you advise, for instance, if a guy, he's speaking to, he's been messaging a woman, he met her, mm -hmm. he likes her, but she keeps she keeps arranging to me and she keeps kind of cancelling, mm -hmm. but not by saying, I'm not really feeling it. She's saying like, oh, you know, my dog got sick and mm -hmm. I've washing got- Washing my hair. You wash my hair. <laughs> Look, it requires a lot of washing. <laughs> She's washing her hair for five weeks, mm. solid. How, how does a guy deal with that? Because mm. there's a, and women have this as well, when the mm. other person is basically, they're not being clear. Yeah. You know what they're trying to communicate, you think. But yeah, it's still you're still kind of making it up though, interpretation, because yeah. you haven't. Well, I mean, one of the biggest things is you need to have loving boundaries for yourself. Yes. So if you don't have any, and I like to say loving boundaries, because I want it to sound like this, again, serious thing, but it's important that you have that in place for yourself in terms of how you want to operate in your dating life and how also you would like people to show up mm. in your dating life and how uh, you'd like people to treat you as well. So yes, even though you don't have control over actually making them do something, you have a say about how you respond. So um, for example, if I was receiving that response um, more than two times, I'd either call it out and just say, hey, look, like if you, um, this is gonna be the last time that I'm gonna contact you. I don't know if you're kind of playing hard to get or whatever it is, but if I don't hear from you again, then, you know, I wish you all the best. Mm. Or um, I may not even contact back. I don't know. It, it, but the, the key thing is, is you ought to screen that person out. But we're talking about standards, right? Yeah. And this yeah. is the same for women. It's like, instead of it all being about getting a result with this other person, so for instance, mm. he hasn't texted you back. Mm. You can be like, oh gosh, well, I don't want to message him in case I scare him off. But in, that's all of making it all about him and whether mm. you've still got his mm. in, still got his interest. Instead, I'd be thinking like, this person mm. who I've had an intimate relationship with or I've been dating hasn't messaged me in, in a week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, you know, that's showing me something about their attitude or mm -hmm. maybe they're not caring for my personal welfare. I don't mm. know. So mm. I'm going to check it out with them yeah. in a curious, non-judgmental way and see what's going on. I'm going to be like, hey, yeah. um, I noticed, uh, hey, or a little radio silence here or it's been a while since we spoke, how yeah. are you? Yeah. And if at this point I get a cold response mm. or a response which doesn't give any form of explanation as to why someone's gone off radar for a week, I'd be, instead of thinking, oh wow, you know, I've really scared them off, I yeah, shouldn't have no. sent that message, I'd be like, okay, this guy's gone cold, he's not behaving towards me in the way that I would like, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna let that go. Yeah. And I think it's actually, you get much more empowered in dating mm -hmm. if you start to make it about your own personal standards, boundaries, what you want to have in yeah. your life and how yeah. you want to communicate yourself versus how can I get this amazing other person? Right. Reading, filtering, whatever you want to call it, is just such a um, important... And that's the process of basically establishing your own boundaries and standards. Yeah, and what you're looking for what? And, and, what you, and what you like and how you'd like to be treated and how you'd like to be in communication with someone. And... Um, you know, you've got to understand that every, there's, so, there's so many people out there who are not going to be a match. Yeah. Right? But there are also going to be so many people that will be a match as well. And really, um, I would suggest, ideally, you want to kind of screen out those who are going to be a match to you versus trying to make the ones who are not a match a match for you. Right. Because that is... Square peg, round hole? Yeah. Yeah. It's just take, that just takes a lot of energy. It um, can add to it be more complicated and complex um, and I think potentially if, if you kind of are wanting to operate from that space of like oh this person isn't really a match to me or maybe they're not as into me so I've got to try and make them into me I, f I, I, I find that really difficult to understand someone who values himself at a decent level would try and do that and trying right. to get someone else to like them. It's like, you're gonna, I'm gonna express and show 
who I am and convey who I am to the best of my ability. And you're either going to like, like it that or, or you're not. not. And, and, and if you don't, that doesn't mean anything about me. It doesn't mean there's something wrong about me. Or about them. Well, no, I'm joking. So, yeah. It doesn't matter, does it? Sometimes, no. no. <laughs> no and it doesn't, yeah, exactly. How do you know what he's thinking or feeling here? Mm. And what's the worst that can happen? Like, you send him a message, he mm. doesn't get back to you. Yeah. Like, you know, at least then you know. Right. I'd rather know and go like, okay, he's not open to that, that's fine. I'm not yeah. going to even take it personally. And then move on to meet yeah. all of the other people you can meet rather than being like, oh, the man has to make every move yeah. like i think yeah. that's not how dating is mm. i don't think it's how it ever was and i think it's especially not how it is in 2018. Mm. um before we wrap i want to give mm. a quick shout out because mm. um you are head group coaching chat whatsapp thread <laughs> group message runner and you are such an active coach with Academy. Academy is my 12, well, our 12 week training course. Mm. We developed it because we wanted to give an option to, to guys that wasn't just one week, you know, one intensive weekend, but to give weeks of development because I think these skills and mindsets take time to yeah. implement. Yeah. Ashley, you've been instrumental in both the live training and we have live training options if you can get to London or also mm. we've worked with guys who are just doing the online only academy yeah. and they are from literally all around the world. Yeah. 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 And uh, Ashley is one of the guys that gets up early to do the group coaching call to Australia at 7am. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a real privilege and it was, it was never something that I was like, yep, yeah, that's what I, I wanted, um, I want to do because you know, like acting is one of my main important things in my life, but this has been such a blessing that's also come up for me and be able to work with people uh, and support them and encourage them in mm. basically in life and, and what they want. And I, it's, it's, it, and without maybe clients realizing it as well, I get a lot from it, from mm. the sessions too as well, because it's, it's a give and take just in a different, from a different angle. Yeah. So yeah, Ooh, yeah. It's, it's so rewarding. Yeah. <laughs> and the guys we have are amazing they're from all around the world if you want to find out more details I'm going to put a link to hayleyquinn.com forward slash academy we run two three academies a year they are getting really popular so check it out and also Ashley if you've loved hearing to his wisdom and just his voice is quite nice um, <laughs> Ashley also has a podcast yeah. where can they find out about that and I'll put a link beneath the video okay cool yeah you can go to uh, should I look at the camera or I just keep looking at you <laughs> I don't know why we're looking. <laughs> basically, you can go, yeah, basically, you can go to uh, jsaudios.com. Yeah.